Now let's begin blocking out the head. So I'm just going to use some of the same uh, brushes that we used before. So let's start with the clay build up. And again, we want to go back and forth between sculpting, you know, positive and negatively. Then we can smooth and then also remesh. So I want to start to block in kind of where we'll put the eyes and so kind of the eye cavity. So I'm just going to hold down alt and kind of push in kind of an area similar to this. And, and it's going to be bigger because there's going to be more uh, kind of details in there, but I'll kind of roughly place this. And then I want to have a ridge that goes kind of all the way from the front here, kind of all the way back around. So we want to get kind of an, an owl kind of an effect. I do want to have kind of a, a cheekbone kind of in here, maybe right in here, and then down to like the jaw. So we can start to block those areas in. Let's kind of push in an area for like an ear. So something like that. And then I also, we're going to have the kind of a large ridge coming along the back. Kind of like that. And then an opening there. Kind of block in the, the jaw shape. And then also I want to have kind of an area in here for the, uh, for the eye kind of the brow. So we're going to have this overall look and then we'll have a brow that kind of comes back over here and kind of connects up with the jaw in the back. Okay. Let's remesh that. And then we can kind of smooth it out and you can always make it bigger or smaller. Uh, I want to start to, to block out the jaw. So I'm going to go to move and just come to the side view. And I just want to kind of pull this out and down. Pull the jaw back a little bit to add a little bit of shape to the jaw. I also, I know that I want to have this sort of uh, reverse tooth here that kind of comes from the bottom jaw and goes up. And so I know that I want to have the front of this face kind of pushed in a little bit more to make room for that tooth. And so kind of bring this out. So something like that. And let's also I'm going to add a little bit of detail down here so it's kind of pointy and then i want to have a bit of it at the front that's more flattened kind of like that now the the eye socket that i have i think it's it's really too far forward and so i'm just going to pull all of this back i want to have a lot more up in front of that so i'll pull out everything kind of in front of the eye so we can get that socket kind of back here because I know I want to have some detail in the front of that socket there. Okay, we can go back to our play build up, start to build that up again. And kind of, I know I'm going to have some detail coming around here. And eventually we'll, we'll put an actual piece of geometry in for the eye because that's the only way you're going to get a good uh, idea of kind of where that, uh, where that's going to be. So cheek, Cheekbone right in there. We can pull that down, kind of push that in into the jaw. And the jaw is going to kind of come up in there. I think we want to kind of thin that out a little bit as well. So going back to uh, move MV, kind of pull this in and I'll be able to kind of straighten that out a little bit. And then also on this eye socket, I'm going to pull it out to the side so we get a little bit more depth to it. We'll get our draw size down a little bit lower. Obviously the draw size affects how much of your model you're affecting when you're moving it. Okay, we can kind of smooth this out, remesh. We can also come in here and I'm just going to overall kind of play with the, the silhouette here. Again, bigger brush size is going to have a bigger effect on your mesh. So I'm just kind of shaping it overall just from the side bring down this part of the head. So something like that. Now I want to, I want to angle this part in a little bit more. So I want it to be kind of wide here and then narrow. Cause this is, you can imagine, if you can imagine this is kind of where that tooth is going to sit kind of right in here and go up. So I think a good, this is a good time as any to go in and get our uh, Damien standard brush and just block out things like uh, where the mouth is going to be. So I'm thinking of the mouth as kind of like right in here. 
get kind of a smaller brush size kind of right in here and kind of coming down so we can kind of block that in i also think i want to have kind of a an opening here where this kind of tooth will be able to sort of sit and then you know we'll have some detail kind of coming up here and this brow ridge is going to kind of come back and then we'll have some kind of cool head kind of detail up here with some sort of scales. I don't have to put all that in right now, but just kind of blocking things out, some maybe wrinkles. And our 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 uh, detail back here is not really well defined, so let me go back and get move. So I do want to get that that brow sort of shape. So I want the brow like a ridge to come across the brow, and then I also want this head shape, and I want to leave some space in the back for that kind of ear that we've got that we want to get going. Let's go back to clay buildup. We can decrease the intensity if we don't want it to uh, to affect things too much. We can come back in here and kind of go all the way around. And then again, sort of define, better define that area. So if we have this area for the, the brow, maybe this is the, the area that we've defined here for the sort of the ear, which is kind of, I'm envisioning it as sort of a, a membrane, not necessarily with lobes, but some uh, an area where we can add some interesting texture to it. And then we do want an actual eye brow shape to kind of come up and over. Okay, so again, we're just we're still defining really rough landmarks on this. And like I said in the at the very beginning of the course, you know, if you want to do something different, that's fine. Just keep in mind that the uh, the lessons will become less relevant the further you get away from the detail that I've made just because of how this all works. And, you know, I want to have some detail coming up like that, but I definitely do want to have a, a more defined sort of eye there. And this cheekbone that kind of comes down here, remesh, kind of smooth things out inside of the eye. Let's get move one more time always more to do kind of pull this in a little bit pull that eye down i want him to have a pretty big eye again we're going for with this alien sort of an owl kind of effect so something along these lines his chin's really really sticking out there and i really want to have a, a little bit of a better kind of silhouette so i'm going to kind of pull this chin down a little bit give it a little bit more of a kind of curve to it i like this interplay with these kind of curves here maybe give him a little bit of a bigger head on the top and this almost this comes kind of to a little bit of a point which again plays into the to the owl kind of nature of what we're doing you know you can kind of look at it from the front and get it to be a little bit more angular something like that Okay, let's go ahead in the next clip and start to add, we'll add some geometry, some temp geometry for the eyes, which will really help us to sculpt around those eyes. And then we'll continue to kind of work on the shapes. This mouth is really, really straight. And so again, we're still in the blocking stage, but we can do a little bit more on this. So we'll do that next.